Alright guys, welcome back. Let's get this party on the sh game. Party going. Blah blah blah. Alright. Froggy gonna die. Boo! Boo! Motherfucker. Boo! Oh, oh, in your face, in your face. Uh, ah. Ow. That's what I get for messing around. Level up. Nice. Alright. We're gonna open it up. First, and then we're gonna use the phone. Because when you go through this, it's a boss fight. And that sucks. This is actually a boss fight that can be a pain in the ass. Really, you can. It's another one where you could die. Hold it right there. My body, my body's getting hot again. <laughs> Jess is ready to take me on just by herself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Everyone else but you. You are. Tell me, Eve. Why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mind can't do I will. They are always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think. Some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive. You will awaken. That's so cool. And to warn viewers now, in the future of this game, you actually see boobs. No lie, you see boobs. So, I'm just giving warning now. You actually see them in the future of this game. It's near the end of the game, but you still see them. I can't remember. I think you're gonna go for the tail first. Ow! Ow! No, I want the tail. Oh god, I gotta heal. Gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal. Gotta heal, gotta heal, gotta heal right now. You're a Jew. Big Jew. I think I got the tail. Alright. Now all I got is the head. Which isn't too bad, but so I gotta shoot her. Crap. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, who's gangster? 
Who's gangsta? Kari is! Kari is! Gangsta! Gangsta! Break it down now. When I will awaken, just tell me what you mean. Want Eve. We're live in front of Carnegie, I don't know, Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survivor of the horrible ordeal, correct? I. Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Sorry guys, I can't read those big words. Please, just leave me alone. This accident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would take to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. Uh oh. You're gonna get knocked the fuck out. Wow! Oh, I told you so. Are you crazy? Jim, did you get the, this on tape? Scram, buddy. Yeah. Daniel. I gotta do my voice. Sorry, I'm late, Jess. Jess, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes, oh, but my date. Heard from the, the cop that your boyfriend ran out out of there like a wuss. Uh huh. Uh, sorry, your date didn't go well. <clears throat> it's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah. Yeah. But of all places, the Oprah. There's a story. <laughs> so why the Oprah? Huh? Is that the in thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. Just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were on to this case. <laughs> so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct. Daniel, soon you'll be with your son. It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway. Change the subject. I heard things from the people who were there, but this is one hell of an accident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Symbiosis. When was I in the hospital? Hey, Jess, you asleep? Oh well. Don't blame you after what you've been through tonight. You like my Daniel voice, people? I tell you what, I'm good at it. Oh, yeah! Hey, right, gonna be some text and everything. It all started with accidents six days that were become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... also six days filled with familiar memories. Day two! Of course we're gonna save. Because we're cool like that. And we're going to stop the video right here. Wow. Give me a second. Once we get in the game and I can pause it.
will stop the video. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got new rela relatives and no close friends. She was sick, often always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the accident, so we have no info on her medication. So, so, what's the spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on, what, like, one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for you, for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. I believe her. After all, Jess is the only witness so far. But if we're gonna take on the suspect like that, you'd better ask Becker for the be better sidearm. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Terrace. He'll help you out. New gun! New gun! Oh yeah, that's it! That's it! Oh. Uh, sorry sir. Gotta go. Alright, we're gonna stop the video right here.